All right, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another Recce Trek video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the Akko, <laughs> Akko, what a din. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the Akku Unisex Slope Ballistic Gore-Tex Loafer. Bit of a mouthful, that's why I put it on a sticky note on the bottom of the camera because I knew I wouldn't be able to reel that off. But yeah, I'm basically effectively gonna to talk to you about the Accu boot. Firstly, I just have to say sorry and apologize if you hear any banging about or little noises coming from a little person. That's my nipper upstairs. He's supposed to be in bed asleep. Uh, he's just over one years old. And he likes to, when I put him in his cot, he likes to just sit up there and kick the crap out of his teddies for a bit. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, all that little banging and noises that see him up there kicking the crap out of his teddies. He's all right. He's just, he likes to do that. It's like a ritual before he goes to sleep. Anyway, back to the subject matter at hand. Now, during my time uh, serving in the army, I only did a short six years, but still during that time, um, I was able to wear copious amounts of different types and brands of boots, be it issued or not issued. Um, and I was a bit of a brand who actually, um, I like to cut around in what's called alley boots. So boots that are Gucci, you know, like your top of the range boots. Um, so I've, I've, I've gone from what, you know, let's, not to knock these brands or anything, but I've gone from like your, your Magnums and your um, Mindles, which are, to be honest with you, they're a cheap version, but I don't rate them very much, the ones that I've worn. Um, sorry to knock them, but hey ho. Um, I'm just being honest. I've also worn Lowers, Altbergs, Altberg sneakers, Altberg jungle boots, um, which by the way, the Altberg, Jungle Boot and Altberg sneakers were amazing. I loved them. And most blokes that I served with also wore them and they were just so comfortable. that, In fact, they were my go-to boot. They were brilliant. And they were about, at the time, for about 140 quid. I don't know what they are now, but at that time, this is like 2008 to 2012, say, they were about 140 quid-ish and they were just mega, real comfortable. Although like, during my time in the army, it was known that Aku boots were issued to SF, like SAS, SBS, and it was seen to be alley if you could have Aku boots. Um, and for whatever reason, if it was my regiment policy or whatever, um, we weren't ever allowed to cut around and camp with them. Uh, you might have been allowed to wear them in the field, but you're not allowed to wear them in camp at the time. I don't know what the rules and regs are now, but if I could have, in fact, I don't know why I didn't wear these boots in the field when I was serving, um, especially like in, on tour like in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, I think I actually would have loved a pair of Aku boots. They're just mega, um, like I say, I must say, by the way, I'm not in any way um, paid by Aku or sponsored by Aku. Aku haven't got a clue who the hell I am, let alone the. F um, <laughs> they don't have a clue that I'm even doing this review or whatever. I, I, this is purely my opinion of the boot. I'm not paid to big them up or anything. Um, I'm just sharing with you guys what it is I cut around in and. Yeah, like I said, I sort of wish I had these when I was on tour. Uh, well, in, in the army. So, brilliant. I, I, I love them. Um, I'll get into the nitty gritty details of it for you geeks out there. So, first and foremost, I wanted a boot that would serve me all year round, especially if I was going to pay out of my own pocket for them. Um, so that would mean, in all weather conditions, be it cold, hot, wet, dry, sandy conditions, uh, boggy conditions, you know, I wanted a boot that would serve me throughout. And, because I only really want to pay once. I'm, you know, I'm just a working class bloke like most of you people out there. 
Um, so it is money out of my own pocket. So speaking of money, these were 140 odd quid through Amazon. I can't remember the company it was, but it was via Amazon. Uh, and about 140 quid on an offer. But now I've recently checked, they're back up to 170 odd quid. So they are pricey, but then you get what you pay for. You know, you get your 50 quid hiking boot, you're not gonna be able to do that much of them, I don't think. I think they're just wear and tear over time. Whereas I've easily by now clocked over 200 kilometers in them, um, easily, easily over 200 kilometers in them. And I've never had one blister. I'm not one for getting blisters anyway in boots, to be fair. But even when you're bedding them in, um, you'd think you'd get one blister. I think I had like a, a sore spot in the back of my heel when I first wore them. And that was quite a long hike, really. But um, I've never had a blister from them. They're so comfortable. Sometimes I do get a bit of, um, you know when you tie your laces up so tight that the top of your foot has it like across this section here. Depend. Across this section here. It does have a bit of a pressure sort of on them, on top of your foot. But that, you know, you can lace your boots differently to alleviate that pressure. Other than that, I've, I've not really had any issues with them. Now they're Gore-Tex lined. Um, so when I got Gore-Tex boots, I, the first thing I thought was, uh, well, I thought if I get Gore-Tex boots, they, my feet are gonna sweat like hell because of previous Gore-Tex boots I've worn in the past. So I was a little bit skeptical of getting Gore-Tex boots, but like I said, I want a boot for the whole year round. Now, much to my surprise, because they're a breathable, um, this is Air 8000 there, but because they're a breathable um, material, I don't, honestly, my feet don't sweat and they don't sweat at all. And you would think they would, because they're Gore-Tex lined. Uh, I've gone through wet terrain of them, my feet don't get wet. Obviously, above the boot, if you go into wet conditions above the boot, then yeah, I imagine your feet would get wet. And once they get wet inside, I imagine they'd be, they would take forever to dry out. But that's when gaiters and, and waterproofs come into play, hey. Um, but I have gone through wet conditions with them. I dry feet, feet throughout, my feet haven't sweat. Uh, they, they're a good fit all round. Um, now, like I said, I've done about 200 odd kilometers on them. The wear and tear, the laces have started to go. But that could be anything. I could have gone through some sort of uh, foliage, like uh, dense wood that something's hooked that off. But they've held out. So I would recommend taking um, some spare laces if you're going on a hike with them. The ankle support is really good. I've never had any issues. You know, I'm a bit, <laughs> bit of a clumps when I'm out and about. I do tend to trip and fall, and whatever. Um, but. I do feel like they're a good support around the ankle. Um, they're a good tread. What I noticed on the tread is that the individual treads on them are alternating. So some are going that way, some of the teeth are going that way, and some of the other teeth are going that way. So they're alternating and they've got all round grip. I've never to this point felt like I'm gonna slip and lose my foot in. Um, the soles are really good. In terms of maintenance, I know you, you are supposed to do um, some sort of maintenance with these. Uh, I think you're supposed to put like a suede um, replenisher on them or whatever it is. But I, I've, like I said, I've done over 200 kilometers in different terrains and they are in good nick. Yes, they're expensive, but you get what you pay for. And I, I genuinely believe I'm going to get many, many, many more kilometers out of these. Um, I do recommend them. Like I say, I've not been uh, paid or sponsored in any way by Aku to to promote these in any way. I'm just sharing with you guys a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of an insight to what it is I'm wearing out and about because you might be interested in them. You might have looked at them online and thought, Christ, they're pricey, but I would say they're worth it. Yeah, I will try other boots, cheaper range and compare in the future. 
uh, because let me know in the comments what boots you guys are wearing. If you think, well, I've paid 50 quid for these boots and they've served me well, then fine. Let me know in the comments. And I'm willing to try other boots, but what I'm saying is, throughout my time in the forces, I don't know why I never wore them. Because I know you blokes did cut about in them on tour and that. And it was, I, I thought it was just a bit of a hype because of the SF guys, that Special Forces guys wore them all the time. So it was a bit of like a looking cool and alley sort of thing, but I get it. They're bloody comfortable, mate. They are comfortable. Look, I know I've rambled on a bit. There's only so much you can talk about a pair of boots, isn't there? But all I would say is they are Aku Unisex Slope Ballistic Gore-Tex Loafers. You can get them in various different colours, and I got them through Amazon. They were 140 odd quid when I bought them because they were on offer, but they're now currently 170 odd quid. They're Gore-Tex lined. Yeah, they're good support around the ankle. They're a breathable uh, material, so your feet don't sweat, but they do keep your feet dry. So they got a good grip on the bottom. Yeah, okay, the laces, they frayed already, but you can always get more laces on them, can't you? Um, just well-made boot, and I'm really impressed with them. I don't know why I've never bought them before. So, I'm happy with them. Um, in terms of a review, that's what you guys have come here for, to look at this video for. In terms of a review, yeah, I recommend them. I think they're brilliant. Yeah, so look, I'm not very geeky in terms of uh, the materials used and stuff like that. I was just literally just a, I'm just a bloke talking from one bloke to another bloke or woman about his kit and gear. Um, you know, as if we were at the pub having a drink and I'm telling you about these boots and take what you like from it. But that's me saying my, share my views and opinions on the boot. Um, there's nothing left more to say. I don't know. <laughs> There's not much more to talk about when it comes to a pair of boots. But I like them. I do recommend them. All right. If you want to see more um, just videos of me talking crap about my kit and equipment, let me know in the comments. And also share with me in the comments um, about the boots that you're wearing. Because I'm, I'm willing to try other boots. Um, yeah. I think that pretty much sums the video up. Because I've been rambling on now for what seems quite a long time I will edit the head out of it to try and keep it short and sweet but I'm gonna have a pint now and um, that's it thanks for stopping by